Well, as you can see, it has the perfect balance point for catching mice. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out one of my all-time favorite mouse traps ever invented. It's definitely in my top five best mouse traps I've ever used. You can catch a lot of mice with it. It's low tech, it resets itself, and you can make it a live catch trap or a kill trap. It's known as the walk the plank mouse trap made by Kentucky Mouse Traps. This was the first one of this style I've ever seen for sale on the market. Since I posted the video back in 2017 showing this mouse trap, there have been hundreds or even thousands of copies for sale on Amazon, eBay, and all over the place. But this was the original. So if I've already posted a video on it, why am I redoing this video? Well, back when I posted that video in 2017, it went viral and it gained over 14 million views. But unfortunately, last year YouTube really started cracking down on my videos and I had the video deleted along with others totaling over 77 million views. They felt it violated their policy because in that first video I had water in the bucket. So I thought I'd redo the trap video with no water in the bucket to see how many mice we can catch. Now this was the first style is made out of wood and since then the inventors made quite a few improvements. You can get this option or one that's synthetic. They've also made other improvements like a smaller version that fits inside the bucket. This worked well. They also make this in the plastic. I'm gonna show you how this trap works. We're gonna set it up on the bucket, test it out with our pet mice, and then we're gonna set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see how many wild mice we can catch. So these traps pretty much fit on the lip of any standard five gallon bucket. You can put one on either side like this, as long as they don't hit. You'll need a ramp right here for the mice to enter and place bait on the end. Not too much where it's going down, just enough to draw them out. Here's mouse number one. Number two. The breaking point is perfect. They feel secure until it's too late, then they drop down. Both those mice were much larger. Here's a smaller, younger one. Still works though. It's pretty much a foolproof trap. It resets itself. It keeps catching mice time after time. If you have water in there, you can fill up the bottom. Also, you can leave it a live catch trap with a tall bucket. There's another method, the one inside the bucket. I'll show you how that setup works as well. With the smaller style, there's grooves on the back of the trap. Those will slide and mount on the bucket when you cut out a hole, just like this. The hole has to be large enough that it won't hit the plank as it tips. This is very secure. You do have to add a ramp and back. This is perfect. The mouse will come up, smell the bait, enter the dark, secure space, and then drop down. You can even add a lid. That will keep out water, pests, and it also makes it harder for the mouse to escape from jumping to the side. In my opinion, this is a great design that works well. We'll go ahead and test it out with our small pet mouse. It's such an efficient mouse catching device. Now we know it works well with our pet mice, but I'm gonna show you how well it works with wild mice. First, we'll set up this trap with two on the clear bucket, watch them get caught. That bucket's tall enough that the mice can't jump out. Then we're gonna set it up in the barn with this bucket. Now I can't add the water to show you, so I'll leave it out. And unfortunately, because it's lower, wild mice can jump out. They'll fall down, jump up, hang on the edge, and escape. I know we're gonna catch a lot of mice with both traps. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens.
Well, last night the traps worked out great. We caught eight mice with a Kentucky Walk the Plank style mouse trap, both the black plastic one and the wooden one. The balance point is perfect. They feel comfortable. Then they go past the breaking point and get dunked. And it resets. It's very low tech. It's a repeating trap and it works well. Now what we caught are non-native mice. These are called house mice. So I can't let them go. They're an invasive species. So instead I'm gonna humanely dispatch them and feed them to wild animals. But before I do that, I'm gonna test out this version. I'm gonna set these up in a different barn, see if we can catch some more mice, and then we'll have a big feast at the end. So let's go set up the motion cameras again and see what happens. Well, this trap is too small to catch a pack rat, but all night long we had mice going up there, trying to get the bait and getting dumped, but they didn't seem to care. They're very good at jumping. They jumped to the side, went out and returned. They wanted the bait in the bottom of the bucket, but as you can see, we didn't actually catch any mice. If we had water in that bucket, that would be a different story. This is a great trap design. It works so well, but in this case, we don't have any mice to set free or feed to the wild animals, but we do have those mice with the last trap. So let's go set up the motion cameras with those first mice we caught and see if any scavengers find them. Well, on the first night, a raccoon walked by, but it didn't notice that huge pile of dead mice we caught. The next morning, a young red-tailed hawk flew down and gobbled up all eight mice in one sitting. That's a huge meal. Overall, this version of the Walk the Plank mousetrap is one of my all-time favorites. I've tested out over a thousand mousetraps, and this, along with the rolling log and flip and slide, are some of my top three mousetraps. 
all because they're very safe. You can catch unlimited number of mice. They reset themselves and they're very easy to set up. You can leave them for long periods of time and they'll keep working. Now this company, Kentucky Mouse Traps, is not a sponsor. I paid full price for these traps, but I love supporting businesses here in America. The reality is quite a few dishonest businesses over in China are selling counterfeit copies. They're even using my stolen YouTube footage to sell them. In this case, I found the only way to stop the theft of my videos is to put some characters of phrases that are forbidden in China. So far that's worked well and it's the reality of the world market today. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. There's even a larger version of this trap for rats. I'm going to test that out in the near future. So be on the lookout for that one. If you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.